Hey there, I'm TV personality and designer, John Culinary, and I'm really excited today because I'm at the manufacturing facility of Renewal by Anderson in Cottage Grove, Minnesota. This is where my windows were made and yours would be too. Come on, let's check it out. Greg. Hi, John. What's up, buddy? How we doing? Doing well. Welcome. Well, you are at Renewal by Anderson's Window Manufacturing Facility in Cottage Grove, Minnesota. Well, I'm excited to be here. You know how much I love my Renewal by Anderson windows. At my house, they are the best. So finally to see where they're made, this is, this is gonna be a good day. We are extremely excited and very proud to show you the process from beginning to end, how your windows were made, along with all the other Renewal by Anderson windows and how they're made. So. First things first, we're gonna go on a long walk though. I hope you got some good shoes. Okay, I, I did not wear my working boots. I got sneakers on today, because I figured with the size of this place, there, there's gonna be a lot to see. There is a lot to see. So our first walk is gonna be about a quarter mile to get all the way to the beginning of the process. A quick quarter mile. A quick quarter mile to take you through that process. So, however, safety first. We're gonna put some safety glasses on, hearing protection on, high visibility vest, and then we're gonna go for that quick walk. Sounds good to me. Awesome, all let's right, go. Let's do it. Wow. So now I understand what you were talking about, what's going on inside here. You were not joking. This is massive. 400,000 square feet. We're gonna walk to the other side of this campus through a little to connector where another facility of 360,000 square feet kind of starts the process. All right, it smells like a construction site. I feel at home, so let's just get into right, it. Let's, let's do it. You could get lost inside here. You know, what I think is really cool about Renewal by Anderson is every project that you do is custom. Yes. And I, I don't know if a lot of people realize that, that you're not spitting out the same window over and over and over. No. Someone in New Jersey where I live, totally custom. Yeah. Someone in California, you do a project. Totally custom. Absolutely. Someone in Texas, custom. It truly comes down to our people being the most important asset that we have, the most important resource that we have. They're amazing. We're gonna go through the connector now and into what we call our renewal value add center. Raw materials come in, how we process them, and actually ultimately get them down in the main. So the raw materials come through here and I, I could see everybody bringing them through. Yes and they're bringing them to the manufacturing facility that we're in right now. Correct. Yep. Okay. So, let's keep on going. Let's walk. Let's do it. Look at the size of this. So John, this is really where the process starts as far as the Fibrex lineals coming in, okay, in this long length. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna optimize those, again, based on that customization of the different sizes for the different units for the different windows. All right, so everything gets cut. Yes. Goes into the bin. From here, I wanna show you the last bit of components we need to pull together in order to go make a window. Let's go see it. Okay, so this is the supermarket? This is the supermarket. A little different than my supermarket at home, which I get lost in all the time anyway. This is this is massive. Yes, there, there's no uh, there's no uh, bread section, no dairy section. Okay. We have we have hardware, we have weather strips. So on average, yep. how many pieces into a standard window? Because I of course we know everyone's custom, yep. but standard window. 30 to 40 components. More complex. Our double hung units, right, where you've got multiple moving yep. sash, right? You're looking at upwards of 100 units, or 100 components within that unit. And then when you start <laughs> taking all of these pieces, because we're in one row, yeah. there's multiple rows here, right? Yeah. All, all around us. How many, how many pieces total? How many pieces total are we talking about inside here? Uh, I think it's pretty safe to say you're close to millions, right? Just based millions on how it, how it, of pieces. Where's John? Hey, Greg, how you doing, buddy? What? I'm 
I'm gonna meet you down there. I, I, I need a break. It's only enough room for me. I'll see you down there. Man, all right. All right, John. So here we are, one of our glider work centers. Okay. I want you to meet Marco. Marco, how you doing, buddy? Good to meet you. He's gonna show you how he put together our glider frames. All right. You are in good hands, but he's gonna put you to work. All right. No problem. I gotta go check out something. I'll see you in a little bit. All right, I'll talk to you a little bit. This is the head and seal okay. of the frame. Yep. Which is it'll be the top and the bottom part of it. Okay. And then we'll put the side jumps, which is the side left left side and right side. Yep. And we'll put the sash on. And then we'll put the sash on. Yep. And the machine will put it together. So now we actually have the actual glass piece. Yep. It's kind of cool that you have a small piece inside of everyone's home. Yep. Yeah, it is very exciting uh, knowing that you have made some something for somebody that is gonna last for a very long time. How is it working with everyone and your team here? Well, I like it because it's pretty inclusive. A lot of cultures, a lot of different ages with people, yeah. and we all work together, and I just love that. Let's see what's next. Brandy, how you doing? Good, how are you? John. So, Marco was teaching me some stuff earlier. He sent me over to see the screen process, show me exactly kind of what goes on here and how we finish off the process before it gets packed. And we also over here, we have to check for gaps and quality. We got all oh, so, so you're actually going through and you're looking to make sure everything looks okay. Yep. And then after the window's done, packaging. Yep. Come on. And to finally see it all come together here to the final process going out to the customer, really interested. So, Brandy, thank you so much. RBA in Portland, Oregon, that's where they're going. These are supposed to ship on 6-2, so they ship tomorrow. So they ship tomorrow? Yeah. I think for your employees, because they care so much, when you build someone's home and you're putting products in someone's home, it, it means a lot more. And, and, and it's to say, hey, I was a part of that. There's a, there's a name, there's an address, yeah. and, and that does mean a lot. Mean and, and you say, hey, I know this window is yeah. going to Oregon. That was, that was a great day, Greg. I, I can't thank you enough for taking me through the entire manufacturing facility, meeting the team and the people. I can see the care and the quality that they put into the product. And it was just, just to see the entire process. So I know from my own home, how that was done with the sliders, from my clients. It, it's the, the pride and the craftsmanship that's within it. That, that's really what, what makes it. Thank you, John. Thanks for spending the time with us today. We're really, really super proud of what we do here and the people we have here. So thank you for taking the time to spend with us. I hope you continue to use Renewal by Anderson in your projects in the future. You're welcome back anytime and we'll put you to work. Let's do it, man. Thank you again. I'm gonna right. give those to you Sounds and I'll good. talk to you soon. Take thank care. you. Wow, what a great visit today. To see how my windows were made is so cool. But what really sets this place apart are the people that are working here. If you want to see how Renewal by Anderson Windows transformed my home, go to getinspiredwithjohn.com. See you later.